That's my boy. No, my boy! Father, help! Morena Panu, no my heart in my kids at NBA TV. Call Faith Toko Ngoa. Talk to Lee Toko Ngoa. Today is Rafa Tetoru Teko Matahi Potu Terangi. Here are your notices for today. Mr. Hollis, hockey teams and callback trials. Hockey players, please go to the Hockey Google Classroom to see team lists and the callback trial list. The callback trial will take place this Thursday, 1st of April at the NBIS Turf. For more details, go to the Hockey Google Classroom. Mr. Hollis, William Pike Challenge. All members of the William Pike Challenge team will meet in room 15 today at lunchtime. Mr. Stephen, Enviro, Enviro Group. There is an Enviro Group meeting in room 12 today at the start of lunchtime. This is open to any year 7 or year 8 students. Don't forget to join the Google Classroom if you haven't yet, and feel free to bring your lunch with you. Here is some artwork by Harry Woodhead in room 40. Here's the joke of the day. Why did the witch ride the broom? Because the vacuum was too heavy. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's all, all, folks. Have a waffle Wednesday. See you same time, same place, tomorrow. <laughs> People in colonial America used to throw waffle parties. Waffles have long been a staple of American breakfast. They're also one of the oldest desserts in history. Waffles can be traced back all the way to ancient Greece. The ancient Greeks used to cook these flat cakes called oblias between two hot metal plates, the very first waffle iron. Though these cakes were savory, flavored with cheese and herbs instead of the sweet ones like we eat today. The makeshift waffle iron carried over to medieval Europe, where the Catholic Church used to make these huge unleavened wafer to accompany the communion wafer. These wafers were made with grain, flour, and water, and had biblical scenes, crosses, and other religious icons on them. Once the church gave permission for everyone to make these wafers, more designs popped up like family crests, landscapes, and other artistic patterns. The possibilities were endless. Cream, honey, and butter eventually were added to the batter mix as well. Soon, around the 15th century, the Dutch began using rectangular plates instead of the circular ones and forged them into a grid pattern that we use today. No one's really sure why the plates were forged in a grid pattern. Some say it's a way for artisans to use less batter over a greater surface. We say it looks way cooler and is perfect for maximum syrup absorption. The Dutch pilgrims brought their waffle recipes and iron on the Mayflower and introduced waffles to America where they got a slight makeover.